To rotate the blades on my joiner, I first mark a line to show the current orientation. From there, I use a screwdriver to break the blades free from their Vulcan death grip and set them aside. Here, I'm careful not to drop the blades or screws down into the joiner body. From there, I use a wire brush and air compressor to clear out any debris that might interfere with the screws and wipe the pitch from the blades using a shop towel. This ensures that I have all my blades appropriately seated when I go back and install them. Next, I rotate the blades 90 degrees using my earlier marks as a reference to guarantee a new sharp edge is installed. I like to do this every six months or so, but your times will vary depending on how often you use your machine. From there, I use a torque wrench to set the screws to the proper torque setting as specified by the manufacturer. My joiner has two sets of eight blades and two sets of nine blades, so I repeat this process for all four sides. Then I check my fence for square, plug the machine back in, and give it a test. What I'm looking for here is a nice smooth board, unlike the wavy patterns I was getting before. So if you found this useful, follow for more woodworking tips, tricks, and project builds, and as always, I'll see you next time.